Hello everybody, and welcome back to yet another stream, and thank you for tuning in to Gaming Leo TV. I am back with Dragon Quest V, after a break from it, because I wanted to see if I could get through Dragon Spirit. I couldn't, and that's the end of that. So, last time I played this, I was in a not great state of mind, and only played for like, what, like an hour, barely an hour, and then I just stopped because I wasn't feeling well. Tonight, I'm feeling much better. And we're going to try to make as much progress as possible. Apparently I had a suspended save in this that I forgot about. And I'm up to the ghostly castle, which is a pain in the butt. So I'm going to do a little bit of back and forth grinding, see what kind of weapons I can get and uh, not get my butt whipped, especially with what's her name, Brianna on my team getting uh, destroyed. Also, the stream is starting late because I was stuck on my Steam Deck playing Dragon Quest 1 on the Game Boy Color. <laughs> I don't know why I chose that version, but I decided to do so, and then I got hooked on it, and I shouldn't have because it, this game, it, it frustrates me. Um, I've always wanted to beat the NES version too, but apparently the RNG in that is egregious, and the SNES version is said to be arguably the best one um even though it's not there's no official english translation to it there's a fan translation that at least does have achievements with retro art which is nice and i'm thinking of going through that next month um even though i'm not really here <laughs> enjoying this game like it's oh it's frustrating oh it's frustrating when it feels like the wrong ways well, I've been using a bunch of hints like crazy online because I feel like I don't know what I'm doing because the game doesn't feel like it explains it enough to me. But in any case, let's get on with this game, shall we? Three, two, one, bam, bam, and let's go. Also, I might be changing the whole starting soon BRB screens. I found one that is essentially the same thing, but in blue, and it looks really nice, so I might end up using that. I gotta work on it, though. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's do the actual dragon quest thing that you should always be doing, which is grind as much as humanly possible. Just grind. Map info, someone I wanted. Hmm. I reversed the controls because the Nintendo way is, uh, you know. How do I say this? Left is Y, uh, yeah, left is Y, top is X, right is A, down is B, 
Xbox has it reverse. I'm using an Xbox controller, and I don't know. The Xbox way makes more sense to me. I don't know why. I guess, I don't know. I guess it's because I kind of... I grew up with Nintendo consoles, but the Xbox layout always made more sense to me for some reason. Um, Where are we at here with everybody? You need 226, and you need only 82. Why does the sex of the characters matter? Why is it even listed? I don't know, but let's try to get home. A fat rat! Hmm. Uh-oh. I don't have anything to attack everybody here, do I? Ooh. That's a shame. I love the animations in this. I wish Dragon Quest 1 got a DS remake. Because I would love to play it in a form like this. Because this is so cool. The only... I don't know. I, I don't want to call anything that I got a remake. I mean, it's, the Game Boy Color version is definitely a different version of... Um, yeah. It's definitely a different version. Yeah, I gotta do this. A different version of the NES version, including changing names of certain areas, which I wish it didn't do. But, um... Anyway. Oh, I don't know what happened to the sound. What happened to the sound? There's no sound. What the heck? Retro arch. Oh. Oh, no, there's just no sound in here when it's nighttime? That's weird. Okay. What do we got? Silk apron. Leather dress. Ooh. Oh, yeah, see, the way how to play, <laughs> the way how to play Dragon Quest is to grind as much as you can and get, like, the best whatever you can, um, and, like, equip it almost literally immediately, and then you just go from there, um. Can I bust in? Hi. Thorn, oh, at 350, oh my goodness. Um, let's, um, yeah, let's definitely give you the bronze knife first. In, um, in Dragon Quest 1, at least the Game Boy version, the line is something like, um, yeah, the line is something like, uh, you know, you bought it, may as well equip it. I love how casual some of the language is in this game. But yeah, so we're going to do, <laughs> we're going to do a little bit of grinding here. Nothing too crazy. Oh! Ah, perfect. This game feels so good using a, a 
joystick with it. Oh my god. Oh, hammer heads or hammer hoods are not fun to fight against. Yeah. That's that's why they're not fun. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. You hear the clicking of my controller. Love the 360 controller, but it's a very clicky one. I would like to get those scale shields, but I, I don't know if I want to spend that much time on trying to get stuff like that. It's useful for sure, but... Oh. Yeah, wow, okay! But they don't heal you fully, which is lame. I meant to press down, but it doesn't work that way. It, um, I believe it's like left and right or something. Oops. And she's faster, at least. I could get a 360 controller that had flatter buttons, like, um... Like a PS5 controller. That'd be like the dream controller for me. I don't know if there's a way to actually heal myself. This game, it looks so good. It's so cool when it's like this. Uh, I suppose I can't leave. Um can't heal myself. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, so it just ends like that. All right. To be fair, when I play these games, I go pretty headstrong when I shouldn't be. Uh-oh. So I'm usually like, oh, we gotta go do this? Okay, let's go do that, rather than, you know, taking the time to actually raise myself up. I know I definitely made the game originally harder for myself on my 2DS. I got up to a mid-boss and immediately got destroyed because I didn't play the game right. It's a little frustrating that, you know, you could, you know, fight through everything, but because you don't have a the team that the game wants you to have, um, you could still lose.
We just brute force JRPGs every time. I don't really like the idea of grinding. I'll grind if, like, I have a goal I'm, like, looking to reach for, like, a certain item or, um, weapon or armor, which is what I was doing in DQ1 of the Game Boy. It is more realistic that I can get this. There we go. Dragon Quest 1 is... It's such a weird game because... Like, I, I'm upset with this, so I think I, I call it a 4 out of 10. Which is probably not true, but... Like... It, it's not nearly as clear as I feel like it could be or should be. Um, but it's also on me for not checking every little nook and cranny about that game. But you don't really want to do that because you're constantly fighting enemies that are doing like a third of your health. No matter what level you're at. Just want to go see what is viable for me here. I wish you would do more than a single digit amount of damage. Let's see, what armor do you have? I forget. Leather armor would be great, only need 180 for that. Scale shields, 180, but that's also 360 if I want to. 120 for hardwood headwear, which is nice. Um a lot that's really good just don't want to waste the time in like you know grinding at least not on stream I don't want to do that I like making progress when I stream I'm hoping she gets a, a cool type of spell like sleep or something. I would love to get that boomerang too. Yay! Dazzle! Excuse me. Alright, what does Dazzle do? Oh, it's a group of enemies and illusions? Hmm. I don't know what that was supposed to do. Ugh. At least she wakes up after the battle's over. That's pretty nice. What? That reminds me, there's a character, at least in the, at least in the, um, in the Game Boy Color version of Dragon Quest 1, there's a character called, I think he's called Goldman or something like that, where he's hard hitting, but if you're strong enough 
damn, if you're strong enough to beat him, you get 650 gold out of him. And for the most part, I have fight, been fighting him and using him to grind for money. Um, he, uh, he can run away and apparently just never comes back. He ran away from a single fight I had had, and then I haven't been able to find another one since. And he's the best way to get money. Unless you beat the metal slime, which I haven't been able to do, because I only do single- I literally do like one damage to him. And, um... Then it just runs. I feel so bad having to look up, um, like, walkthroughs and hints and stuff for for that game. But there's just some stuff the game just does not explain. How have I been streaming for 20 minutes already? What? Wow, okay. That's you don't know, gotta do all that. I don't really want to waste a nerve on there. I was afraid she was going to get hit. One seventy five. Caterpillar. I want that boomerang so bad, dude. But that's a lot of grinding. Or at least fighting larger enemies, which I don't I also don't really want to do. She's got the biggest jump if I give this to her. Ooh. Oh man. Let's give her the scale shield because she gets hit more. And what do you have again? Ah, uh, see this. Yeah, this I don't. I don't know if I would get to, but I want. I want this. I want these two so bad, but it's a combined what seven ninety. Oof. But I think that's the that's the highest level thing that she can get right now, right? As far as the sword goes. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta focus on defense early on for sure. Oh, 
I kind of I want to build up the um, the cheaper armor first. It's pretty easy to get gold like this, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to waste time. Even though I've been doing this for 25 minutes now, apparently. It doesn't feel like it, my goodness. Oh, so... What, she always takes 10? That's messed up. I feel like there's a scaling thing I could do here. Oop. Video scaling. Uh, A50. I'm such a butt about this. Yeah, something like that. I kind of want to do 890. Video scaling 885. There you go, something like that instead. Oh. <laughs> What does 890 look like? Good enough. Um. I mean, I recognize that strength isn't her, well, strong suit, but only doing single digit damage when your main source of power, I'm sorry, your main source of power is magic, and I can't keep using that forever, that's kind of a problem, especially if you don't, especially if you don't have, um, you know, multi-enemy attacks. What does Squelch do? Cures this thing on- oh my goodness. <laughs> Some fat rats appear! It seems like she's doing uh, double digit damage, which is nice. All you want to do, you want to do as much damage as you can to kill these things in one hit.
I'm gonna grind a little <laughs> for a little longer here. Let me double check real quick. So, like, the, the weapons are far too expensive to try to buy, but the armor is, like, really easy to get. So, I want to get leather armor. That's not happening. I want to get a scale shield and a hardwood headwear. So, the helmet is about to be next. At least these things give me, you know, if I'm fighting groups, I get at least 20. Um, gold, so... Oh, it's so weird, you can't, you... Oh, you can go. Huh? Oh, that's weird. You press down to go up, and up to go down. I think they did it to get one of them. 126, all right. Um, hardwood headwear, yeah. Hmm. Get rid of the leather hat. Wait. Wait, what am I doing? I'm wearing the hardwood headwear. I want to get rid of the leather hat. Yeah. I think? Wait, hold on. Can she wear it? Um... She can wear it! I don't think she was wearing anything, was she? No, she was not. Cool. Okay, well, she just got extra armor. <laughs> so the next thing I want to get is... Oh, leather armor and scale shield. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do that. Apparently it's Lunar New Year today. During Year of the Dragon. This is classic Dragon Quest by the way. <laughs> Grind as much as possible and get the most affordable stuff you can buy and then continue on. Like I said, I wish I could get the boomerang or the whip so bad, but they are far too expensive. Uh, excuse me, far too expensive for the little money that I'm getting out of this. So it's not worth it. Need 110 gold. I was gonna say twice, but not exactly.
I end up learning the hard way. I, I don't know if, if enemies have weaknesses, like type effective weaknesses, like a Pokemon or a Persona or a Dino Dragoon, allegedly. But, um, it just feels like the spells that you get in this game don't really matter, it feels like. I know in Dragon, in Dragon Quest 1, I just end up swinging my sword as hard as possible. Just use the turbo button and keep swinging until I'm done. Only spells I do use is heal, which even that's kind of useless because the moment you use heal, you'll get knocked down again for like 30 health or however much and becomes why did I bother doing that? Oh, excuse me. Where are we at? 126? And another few groups of enemies to go. And then I gotta do it all over again. <laughs> At least you do make back a chunk of change once you sell something. See, 16 gold for that. Which is not bad. 142, like, that's crazy. I only need, uh, what, 38 gold for that. For the next thing I'm gonna get. It feels good to see the enemies only do one damage. Um, and 71. Now keep in mind, this does not guarantee me doing well in the, uh, the ghost castle. This is just meant to be a preventative measure. Oh God. <laughs> I guess it just makes them miss. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Bianca, right? Yep. Kasap? Was that? Two hundred one. Um, I will go for the armor. Me. I don't think she could wear, wear Wayfarer's clothes, right? No, she cannot. So you can sell that. Yeah. Oh. 
So now I only need 130. Oh, 124. Oh yeah, as, as you can see, I <laughs> in the 40 followers goal there, I took out the 12 hour Sekiro stream that I really thought I was going to be able to do at some point, but you know, due to personal life circumstances, is not going to happen basically anytime soon. So I don't know what I want to do to celebrate that milestone. And it is a milestone. A anytime I get to anywhere up to that number and where I'm at now, it's a reason to celebrate. And yes, that hundred dollars for Halo on Legendary is still going to be there. I'm, I'm okay with it being there forever. Is uh. Halo on Heroic was an utter nightmare. Halo on Legendary is a... Uh... Oh boy, it's gonna be a new type of pain. It might be, I'll, I might just spend like a whole month trying to beat that one. Instead of like trying to do it like, what? Like once a week or something like that. 94. Need a, uh, 106. I can barely see the bubble slime, by the way. Reduces the defense of a group of enemies. That's not horrible. I don't have enough of that. Ooh, that's not horrible. The jerks. <laughs> Only nine gold for those three. I don't. Why? One thirty six. Just need another eighty. Need another. What's that? Forty four. This this game is a time sink. Forty four minutes, just about forty four minutes now, and I've done nothing except blabber and fight the same enemies over and over. But that's what I like about some JRPGs. They'll be just kind of a time killer, but also fun. One sixty three, another seventeen. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Like the last time I streamed this, which was such a bad idea, I should I should have just canceled it. But uh, the last time I streamed this, it was like the longest hour of my whole life. This, on the other hand. I can't believe how fast it's been going. I don't know why I'm pressing B to check my stats. 175, I just needed another 5. It 
it's actually pretty funny playing um, Dragon Quest 1 um, and thinking about Pokemon because Pokemon was... <sighs> Pokemon was inspired by, I think it was Dragon Quest Monsters? And Satoshi Tajiri... Can't remember if it, if it was with Kensugi Mori or another friend of his, but the story goes that Tajiri wanted a... Um, wanted some monster in um, his game and he couldn't get it because that's not how the game worked so he figured well I'll, you know I could make a game where you can get the monster that you want and I'm a fan of bug catching so I just I think she has a, sc a scale shield anyway um and one thing led to another, and that's how Pokemon came about. But it's really funny playing Dragon Quest 1, because Dra Dragon Quest 1 feels like... Ooh. It feels like when Pokemon was made, it's like, hey, let's do everything Dragon Quest didn't, and that made it better. <laughs> like, Dragon Quest 1 is actually, like, what appears to be a fairly short game. It's like 8 to 10 hours long, which is genuinely short. Um, but you have to keep... Not only do you have to keep grinding, you keep, you keep having to go back to the... Um, you keep having to go back to the kingdom in order to save, and you have to keep trudging along to different areas by just walking there. Make sure you have a map on you. Um, <clears throat> whereas Pokemon, you know, has fast travel, a town map, a bicycle, a lot of stuff. Oh man, I love red and blue so much. I don't want to say I'm a Gen 1 -er, because I've often said that Heart Gold is my favorite Pokemon game. So I do wish we got red and blue and. Gen 4 style with following Pokemon. That'd be my dream game. Um, yeah, I recently finished Pokemon Blue on my analog pocket after having to redo the whole game all over again because I accidentally bought a broken red version that ruined my whole game. And luckily I had a save state on it. And so I had to play... Re I, I was at the Elite Four... The game file got ruined, and then I had to restart at the SSN, and then I played the game over again. And I still beat the game in, what was it, like, 15 hours, I think it is, which is my new record? They, uh, it's easy to exploit game, it's an easy to exploit game, honestly. Like, once you have the proper types, especially Psychic and Ground, <laughs> like, I ended up, uh, I bought a new red version, and then I, um traded my Graveler to make a Golem and I got a Mew really early on <laughs> which I, I found a different way of getting it um, instead of going up Nugget Bridge you when you trigger the, the trainer on the side of the water across from Nugget Bridge you could teleport back to the Pokemon Center and then go into the Cerulean Gym, fight someone there, I think it is. And then as you walk out, you could get a Mew, which is, I never knew that. In any case, my Golem and Mew utterly wrecked the whole scene. Because the game is filled with fighting, excuse me, with normal type and poison. So, you give a rock and ground type of fighting move, like submission, and you have a psychic Pokemon on you, you'll just destroy the whole game. Everybody else is useful too, but... Grass gets destroyed real easily with flying and even a little bit of fire. Um, you know, you could have... Elect yeah, like, you really only need an electric Pokemon for Gyarados, and that's it. Uh, I, very genuinely, that is it. That's the only reason you need a, a electric type. Um, unless a water type that you know of has ice moves. But even still, that's kind of a gamble. Mm. 
All right, I hate to look, but who's worse at strength? She is, she definitely needs it. Even though I don't really think it's gonna do much good for her. Cause she's not a strength type, but it's worth giving it to her. Um, so she could do any damage at all. I thought I had to. Never mind, forget it. <laughs> but yeah, I I put off a Pokemon Blue um, playthrough. I thought I was gonna beat that within a few weeks, and uh, I didn't. Oops. And I can. I definitely can if I put my mind to it. And um, I don't want to say I want to redo that file, but I kind of want to redo it. Now that I know what to do now. <laughs> hey, let's go back and save real quick. <laughs> quick save. Nintendo DS series system. This turns it off. Yeah. Mm. In um in Dragon Quest One, if you make a field log, which might be only starting from the Game Boy uh Game Boy Color. He's still poisoned. Oh yes he is. Imagine. Why is Squelch the? Anyway, um, what I want to say, something about Dragon Quest One, um, in the Game Boy Color version. I forgot what it was. Because there are differences. There's got, there's a lot of differences from the Game Boy Color version and the NES version. Especially with town names being changes. Town names and item names are changed, which are makes it so much more confusing. Um, oh yeah, uh, okay, so I don't know if it's in the NES version, but in the Game Boy Color version of Dragon Quest 1, oh goodness. Uh, um, you can make field logs, but they get automatically deleted if you start the game up again. That's not a good start here. Wow. Please don't kill Bianca. I'm begging. She's too young to die. Wow, 36 EXP for that. 174. I'm going the wrong way anyway. That's another thing too, in Dragon Quest 1, like, you're, the main area you'll fight in, you'll fight just, like, random slimes and who cares? The moment you cross a bridge, you enter the wrong neighborhood and you get utterly, uh, bonked. 196, huh? I wanted to go save. But let's also... Let's do the thing where we heal up again and everything. Hmm. 
It's funny, I've never beaten a Dragon Quest game before, but <laughs> I, I'm gonna work on beating this and 11, and also I'm close to beating Dragon Quest 1. I don't know why I chose the Game Boy Color version. I, I, don't, I don't remember why I did that. <laughs> I think it may have been because the SNES version I have? Or had at the time? I don't remember. I think it was like an in-between thing of like, I don't really want to play the NES version because I know it's egregious with its with its own difficulty. And the SNES version is lo looks and sounds amazing and I want to save that for a stream series. So that's why I think I chose the the Game Boy Color one. It's worth getting. But in my mind, I'm like, it sucks. Because, like, you'll feel accomplished, and then you go, wait, what do I have to do now? And then you talk to everybody, and they don't really, like, give you great directions or instructions of what, didn't, what, they, what you need to do next. <laughs> like, it's the classic, you find an NPC, and they go, find this item, then come back to me. And that's it, that's all they say. <laughs> And then you're like, wait, what? Like on one hand, I want to say I'm loving that game. I can't stop playing. On the other, it's I wish I could stop playing so I could, you know, move on from it forever. And then also at the same time, I'm like, I want to buy this game as a cartridge. Which is also probably a silly idea. Hmm, who leveled up? Yanka! Is is Sis an all attack? Question mark. I am a fool. Oh, that's right. It sends me back out here talking to this guy. I do got to remember that that's there. Unfortunately, the only way to hard save is to find uh, churches. Which in, yeah. excuse me, in 11, there's a lot of save points. There's a significantly, significantly more save points in 11 than, well, so far, 1 and 5. Keep using that for if it helps. It's known as Firebane in Dragon Quest One. I don't know why they localize these names like this. It's so ridiculous. Um I I guess it does add a little bit of charm, but it's so weird because Um, because like Dragon Quest is supposed to be like, um, 
not Middle Ages, but it's supposed to be like the more ro I, I, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, so it's something like more adventure style, Howard Pyle, King Arthur style of writing, and in, it somehow became just became British. Murderer? How do you get away with that name? Wow. I'm actually kicking ass. Uh, I do have to get the hell out of here. A group. The sucky part is that I, I will have to keep going back and forth, back and forth. Um. I want to do this and then have to run back and save and yeah Because this game will utterly wreck you if you are not ready for it I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, that's not great. God. Like I said, this is going to be very aggravating. I'm going to keep going back and forth, back and forth with saving instead of, you know, wasting any uh, MP or medicinal herbs. I don't know how I've been streaming for an hour already. This game, bro, I don't even understand. This and the slimes are gonna be okay. Um, I could take those out easy. Bruh. I almost feel like I didn't need the sizz, but it worked. God, what am I supposed to be doing? Oh, I really thought he was going to die, like, immediately.
I know I was supposed to get like a teacup set, but I, I don't remember why. What am I supposed to do? I'm trying to leave it. No. Uh... <laughs> Don't give me a story recap, will it? <laughs> Why is this not 11? Um. Alright, I mean, I guess I'll just go through these doors and see where I'm supposed to go next. I was supposed to find a torch, apparently. Finds the stairs and finds these throne room with the ghost ring leader. I kind of don't want to. Uh oh. Okay, let's uh, go this way instead. See what we got in here. Oh, hi. I mean, I'm working on it, lady. Hope I'm not gonna make anybody sick by moving the camera like this. I know it's bothering me a little bit. I don't know if I was supposed to fight the guy at the... Oh no, this... Yeah, this locked me out. Hmm. Was I supposed to go to the guy at the door? Question mark? Hi, uh, can I go past you? I mean, I, I can't seem to do anything. Oh, sugars. Well, I'm, well, I'm making my way back over here. Hi. 
Get a photo note. Just climb the stairs to find the throne room. This number will be up soon. Climb the stairs. Am I supposed to use it or what the fuck am I doing? I'm a fool. Hello. I mean, when she was like, hey, use the torch, I thought that the, I, uh, don't worry about it. Listen, I'm not a, an intelligent person. Oh no, I can't believe we were duped like that. That's crazy. Oh my God. I hope I don't get my ass whipped though. Okay. Hold on a second.
Alright, I'm back. I had to help my mom with some stuff. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that bad. Oh, was that just like a regular fight? Do I have to go all the way back up there again? I mean, in that case, I may as well just leave. Hold on. Wow. Big ol' sneeze. <laughs> I don't know, with the torch thing, I was like, okay, so it's good. You know, Brianna was like, or Bianca, what is her name? Bianca? I think it's Bianca. Yeah, she was like, use a torch, and I thought it was gonna go off automatically, and I thought the flashing was the torch. Because I thought it was doing it by itself. I'll show them. Four seventy seven. Get the boomerang. Get the boomerang. Thank you. So I learned in Dragon Quest Eleven and in one you could change equipment. I I don't know if that works here. I haven't thought about it until just now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep going down. What does my item thing look like? Oh. Oh, okay, so I shouldn't have that on me. Yeah. 
Yeah. I need a new desk and I need a shock mount for my microphone. So nobody hears nothing with this thing. All right, let's get back to the uh, little ghost castle thingy. <laughs> oh, I just blanked. Um, I gotta see if I could switch out the weapons. You can equip it during the battle. I'm so not used to that as a concept. I, I, I'm so, oh man. I'm so used to games being like, if you didn't set your party up properly, then too bad for you. Medicinal herb. And now to go back to use that the torch again. F that dude. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to come this way, did I? Yuji Hori makes such fun ca looking characters, man. This is very similar to Chrono Trigger. damage yeah always debuff whenever you can
kind of need her to be more alive, funny enough. It's a good thing I did that. Please, please stop walking on my desk. This thing can barely take uh, my arm being on it. Uh. Okay. That's not good. Yes! Wow. I was looking a little tight there, but got it. Whoosh! Yay! No. Sure. I don't like the wiggly effect that happens there, but I don't know if it's because the, uh, the bottom screen is actually supposed to be far smaller, and so it's a pixel thing or what, but I don't know. Or it's an emulator thing between Desmume and Melon DS, which I'm currently using. I don't know. The orb. Yatta. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. God's sakes. We did it. Yay. Hmm? You're right, we should. I'm not allowed to name the thing myself? That's crazy! Bruh. Fine. No. That's crazy. I cannot believe you're not allowed to name it yourself. That's crazy. Yay! His- oh, well, all, all, all right, game. His name is Saber. Oh. Excellent. 
Hello, everybody. <laughs> no. Like, Dragon Quest is such a feel-good series, man. Oh, hi. Don't need anything here. And a right laugh for you and me. Well, I got what I could. But I think that's the end of this whole area. Let us save really quick. Two hours, ten minutes. Wait. Uh-oh. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this- with the things that I got! Okay. Hmm? Yeah. What? The reason why I always wanted to play through Dragon Quest V is because of the Pokemon aspect of... Because it's not Pokemon aspect, because it started with Dragon Quest Monsters. Um, but yeah, just taming random animals and raising them. The... I've always loved that concept. I like when number go up big.
Oh, I have all of her stuff now. Interesting. Looking at silver tea tray. Apparently, they're just knickknacks that you pick up. Yeah, Dad, totally. I definitely won't get myself in trouble. Hi. I don't know, looks sunny and warm to me. No. No. Uh oh. Oh. Eh? Wait a minute. It's. Wait a minute. Hi. Oh, that's ominous. Oh, I forgot about this. Country folk. Hello. Oh, I don't suppose I could read it, could I? I mean... I mean, that dude does look a lot like me. Hi. Who was here the other day? What's happening? Oh, that's what's happening. Is there a pot I can smash in there? Sure is. Very rude. All right. Nothing. Oh, I I guess I took it earlier. I forgot what it was though. Hmm. Can I just get onto that? Okay, strange man. I talk to everybody? Not him. I've noticed that it seems like it dates back all the way to Dragon Quest 1, where you can use the directional pads to get through dialogue. Hmm. Now... Hmm. 
I think I've talked to everybody here already, so... Go back home? Hey, Dad, everybody's saying that there's someone messing around. Well, then I gotta guess- I guess I gotta talk to the, uh... Security guard? Hey. Ah. Because I'll save here. I don't really have like a storage thing to put my stuff, eh? I can't even talk to him. I don't know what to do. Hearing something ringing, and it's going off in my ears. Uh, I don't know what else to do here. I can't think of anything else to do. I don't think I have to come in here, though. What do I have to do? Do I go back to bed? Can I go back to bed? Oh wow, I didn't even see that, that's crazy. I don't know what I need to do now. Back to the mine? I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here. Can I equip you with stuff? Can it hold a knife?
Use this item when the time is right. Slimes! I gotta change party tactics, don't I? Oh. Do I do it in front of you? Do I do it in front of the dad? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what bothers me about stuff uh, about what Dragon Quest will do. It will make you think you've done everything and then not explain anything anymore. Well then, I guess I did kind of need to go back down here, huh? I guess I'll just finish up that side quest and be done for the night. Boomerang is hilariously overpowered. Well, actually, I'm hilariously overpowered for this area, but yeah. The fact that it hits all enemies and not just a group is real good.
Hey. Oh. Well then, what's with the blue stone? Oh, wait, maybe I show it to him? No. Do I show it to my dad? What if he could take it? Maybe I give it to the guy in here. Yeah. All right. I am officially at a loss. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. <laughs> I, I grabbed, grabbed a random rock that nobody seems to want to do anything with. Uh, hi. Oh, but you also won't tell me what's in there. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel stuck. I just grabbed a random rock that apparently didn't mean anything. And that's what frust that's what really frustrates me about these games. Like I did a thing. Does this go to anything? No? Then why is it here? I've talked to everybody, I've done everything, I've gone everywhere. Dad, I got a rock. It'd be weird if it were the case that I would need to have it on my body, but... I'm killing time. I I haven't even reached two hours yet, but in, in a couple minutes I'm probably gonna end the stream because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And uh kind of honestly like sitting here not making me feel good. Um So I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, man. Watch it, you know, watch it be some camera angle thing that I missed out on or something. It's been so long since I gotten out of this area that I genuinely don't remember what I'm supposed to do next. Can I interest you in a gold orb? What about a wheel... All right, <laughs> once I hit two hours, I'm gonna end the stream. I'm at a loss. I, I... Mm -hmm. 
Can I do something? Like, I don't suppose I could do something with a fire, can I? I, I'm trying to come up with literally anything. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, okay, I reached two hours. That's gonna be it for tonight. I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing, and I, this game is not explaining something to me, so I, I'm i at a loss. And that's gonna be it for tonight. I'll try to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do next time. But, as always, you can follow me on Twitter at GamingLeo90, and follow me here at GamingLeoTV, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!